Greetings parents and students, this is Mr. Joey and this will be a quick guide about how to use Google Classroom. Google Classroom will be the platform that we'll be using from grade 4 up to grade 12. And so, we will be giving you a quick guide on how to use it using a computer, iPhone and iPad, or an Android device. To start with, we will guide you through how to join a class in Google Classroom using a desktop computer. It is necessary to have internet connection and for the computer to have a camera for assignment purposes from teachers later on. So first, open your browser and go to google.com. Now in the top right hand corner, please click on sign in or log out from your personal accounts then sign in as a new user. It will then ask you to enter an email address. Please use the school-made email and that will be your child's first name and the first two letters of surname at ibs.ac.th. Then, kindly click on Next. A password will be asked by default. For first-time login, password is ABCD1234. Type it in, then click Next. Once you're logged in, in the system will automatically ask you to change the password to anything you want. For this, you have to do it right away for security purposes. The school won't know your new password, so please remember it or write it somewhere. You will see your icon at the top right. It means you're logged in. Now, to go to Google Classroom, on the address bar, type in classroom.google.com and then press enter. In here, you will see all the subjects that teachers have made. For a first time login, you will be asked to join in the classes. Now the main menu of Google Classroom is on the top left corner. It is the icon with three lines. Click it and you will see all the subjects you are enrolled in. Then under teaching, it is where you will see your homework and some to-do lists. Then on classes, it will be the same as what you've seen a while ago on the main page. Now for example, if you want to go to grammar, click on the class, and it will then bring you inside the virtual classroom. By default, you will be on the subject's homepage and that will be under the stream tab on the top. You will see classwork and people. What is stream? It is where you can see all the information about the subject, announcements, to-do list, and homework. Now, if you click on Classwork, it is where you can see all the homework and quizzes that a teacher will give you. This is also where you can see all the work you've done. In here, you can also click on Google Meet if the teacher will require you to have a video call with your classmates for follow-up or to answer any questions you have. The teacher will be setting a time for you to meet if needed. Now, Click on People. Now on the People tab, this is where you can see your classmates and your teacher. You will know how many classmates you have and who else is in the class. So this is all that we can show you about how to use Google Classroom using a desktop computer and it is very easy. Please watch this part again if need to. Next is how to join a class by using an iOS device. That would be iPhone and iPad. Firstly, you have to go to the App Store if you still don't have the Google Classroom app. Type in Google Classroom to search, then kindly get the app. Once download is done, you have to click on Open to open the application. When the app is open for the first time, click on Get Started. Then it will ask you to input your email and password. Please use the school-made email, and that will be first name followed by the first two letters of the surname at ibs.ac.th, and then click on Next. For the password, by default, it is ABCD1234, or if you have changed it already, use the password you've made. Click on Allow for notifications, camera, and microphone to be used. In here, you will see all the subjects you are enrolled or for you to join. On the top left corner, you will see the menu button, the icon with three lines, 
In here, you will still see all the subjects and to-do list. Now, if you click on subject, as you see on the bottom, there are three tabs, stream, classwork, and people. So what is stream? It is where you can see all the information about the subject, announcements, to-do list, and homework. The second tab, classwork, it is where you can see all the homework and quizzes that a teacher will give you. It is also where you can see all the work you've done and it is where you turn in all work. On the top, you will see the Google Meet icon. You may use it if the teacher will require you to have a video call with your classmates to follow up or to answer any questions. The teacher will be setting a time for you to meet if needed. Now the last tab, people, it is where you can see all your classmates and your teacher. You will know how many classmates you have and who else is in the class. So all this is how to use Google Classroom with an iOS device, which are iPhone and iPad. It is not really that hard to use them, right? Up next is how to join a class in Google Classroom using an Android phone or tablet. Firstly, you have to go to the Play Store if you still don't have the Google Classroom app. Type in Google Classroom to search, then install the app. Once installation is done, click on Open to open the application. When the app is open for the first time, you have to click on Get Started. Then it will ask you to input your email and password. Please use the school-made email and that will be for the first name followed by the two, first two letters of the surname at ibs.ac.th then click next. For the password, by default, it is set to ABCD1234 or if you have changed it already, use the password that you have made. In here, you will see all the subjects you are enrolled on or for you to join. On the top left corner, you will see the menu button, the icon with three lines. In here, you will still see all the subjects and to-do lists. Now, if you click on one subject, as you see on the bottom, there are three tabs, stream, classwork, and people. So what is stream? It is where you can see all the information about the subject, announcements, and to-do list, and also your homework. The second tab, classwork, it is where you can see all the homework and quizzes that the teacher will give you. This is also where you can see all the work that you've done and it is where you will turn in all work. On the top, you will see the Google Meet icon. You may use it if the teacher will require you to have a video call with your classmates for follow-up or to answer any questions you have. The teacher will be setting a time for you to meet if needed. Now the last tab, people, it is where you can see your classmates and your teacher. You will know how many classmates you have and who else is in the class. So how is it? It's not so hard, right? It's very easy to use. Google Classroom is a fun platform to use, especially if you have some interactive homework. Okay, so if you have any questions using it or if you have any problems, just contact your respective schools. All right, so we're so excited to see you at IBS at home online learning so we're launching it soon stay tuned and see you there bye